Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. Today is July 16th and it is harvest time. So a month ago I did a video on hydroponic watermelon outside using my solar water pump. And I promise that if there are many people interested in the video, the update, I'm going to do one uh, for the harvest time. So here it is. Um, I did all of my research and many of the places that I looked, they mentioned that once the tendril here is all dried up completely all the way down to the end there and the leaf there which is called a spoon and if the spoon is all dried up as well the watermelon is pretty much ready and also the vine is basically dying back here I, I cut the vine off because I didn't want any more growth here as you can see the watermelon is pretty small I don't, I don't want too much because there's not a lot of space here so and another thing they mentioned to look is if if you lift up the watermelon the bottom there has that yellow spot there that means it's been resting here and uh, it should be ready and some people also suggest that you thump the watermelon but <laughs> I don't know it's it, it, it sounds good to me but uh, it's it has a very beautiful uh, golden color here so I, I think it should be ready so we're gonna harvest it off and uh, bring it inside and give it a taste and here's my unit the water is pretty much all the way down to the bottom and I'm not gonna refill anymore so that's why I'm gonna just go ahead and cut that off and I actually have new vines coming out here so maybe I'll just keep this going and allow it to grow some more uh, but we'll see uh, that all I'm concerned with is this watermelon so let's go ahead and cut this off Okay, there it is here. This is the Crimson Sweet. Not very big, but it's a very nice and I'm very proud of this watermelon. I hope it tastes good, so let's go inside. Alright guys, here is the watermelon. I'm really excited about this because I have never tried a hydroponic watermelon before. So this is the first time and I, I'm really, really excited. So we're going to cut this open and I'll show you what it looks like inside. I hope this is good because this is the only one that I have. Um, let's see how we usually cut watermelon, maybe this, this way. Wow, you see how crunchy that is? It just splits open right away. Man, look at this, this is so beautiful. I've never seen watermelon that's grown hydroponically before. Uh, it, wow, it smells so good. This could probably wait uh, another few days, but overall it's a very, very good um, color, nice, very firm, and when I cut it open, it, it's that crunch just splits it open right away. So uh, we should give this a try so that we can tell how, how, how good it tastes. There's a lot of seeds there, but um, these are not the seedless variety, so. Let's try it out and see how good it is. Okay guys, here is my hydroponically grown watermelon. This is the Crimson Sweet. It's uh, about the size of a grapefruit, not very big. <laughs> so, smells just like a watermelon. Uh, the flesh is a little bit uh, on the whiter side. I think it's because I picked it too early. But I actually left this on for a long time to, you know, to get the tendril to dry and I did exactly what uh, some of the people suggested. So uh, let's see how good this is. Wow. It's just like a regular watermelon. Very, very sweet. Wow, this is really good. You cannot tell this is a hydroponic watermelon. Man, this is a really a, a big shocker for me because um, I was expecting it to be very bland and not sweet, but um, it's, it's very, very good, surprisingly. 
tastes just like a regular watermelon. <laughs> so uh, I think I'm gonna eat this entire thing all by myself because it's so small. But uh, anyway, I have a few more watermelon that I'm growing hydroponically right now in my tent. And if they do well, I may do a video on that. So um, if you guys want to see that, comment below and I'll make sure to try to record the video and show you guys in the future. But anyway, I, I hope you enjoyed the video. Hydroponically grown watermelon outdoor using my solar pump. Um, I think I've, it, it was a month since the last video. And then the last video took 31 days. So it's... Uh, 61 days maybe <laughs> somewhere around there but yeah it, it grew extremely fast so um, if you guys haven't tried it before uh, try it out hydroponically grown watermelon it's 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 very very good it grows really really fast and it, it's a fun thing to do very maintenance free I mean I just fill the water when uh, when it's low um, because you grown it over a long period of time it's, it's good to have some kind of uh, bubble like a water pump or air pump so that's why I have the uh, the solar air pump outside and uh, that works really really well it turns off at night but don't worry about it because uh, um, there's enough aeration in the water that was created during the day by the bubbler so over the experience the extended time in the evening that is not on it's fine there's a lot of aeration in there already so there you have it guys uh, thank you for watching please like comment and subscribe